Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Adventures today from Trinity, Texas. It is about 30 degrees right now. We are in these beautiful RV resort and cabins, Trinity Luxury RV Resort and Cabins. It is a hidden gem. It's such a beautiful place, but we were here to celebrate one of my friends retirement party. She worked 45 years for my company I work for. I don't know how she did it, but she's one of my heroes and we love her so much. So we came down here to celebrate her. And of course, we're, we were gonna be adventurous and stay for a couple of days more. Trinity Luxury RV Resorts and Cabins is situated approximately 90 miles north of Houston, Texas. Guests can choose from five spacious RV sites or five luxurious cabins, all furnished with contemporary amenities. The RV sites offer full hookups, picnic areas, and fire pits. Although Wi-Fi is currently not available at the moment of recording this video, the cabins boast king-size beds, full kitchens, bathrooms, fire pits, TVs, and inviting porches. Open year-round, Trinity Luxury RV Resorts and Cabins provides an ideal setting to unwind and reconnect with nature. When you come to this place, I will highly recommend you to rent a golf cart. It is 140 acres of trails and areas that you can go and explore. If you like walking, good for you, but I think you will be able to enjoy and explore more with a golf cart. I believe it's 100 per day. We went out and explored, uh, trying to look for deer, but we just saw the longhorns, beautiful creatures, perfect for um, taking some pictures. Then my husband and my son actually saw some deer around here. So beautiful, beautiful place. As you see behind me, there's all kind of fun water activities that you can do in the summer or whenever the weather permits. Oh, there is a house on the top of the hill that is a, a historic landmark. And it's just so cool to uh, learn about history. There's five luxury cabins and five RV parks. If you want to know more about this place, links below in the description. Check them out. All right, guys, so, so far my top three favorite things to do was number three, trying to make the fire, little experience I had there, but we failed like five times. Number two, eating the swarms that we had when we finally got the fire to work. And number one, driving this thing around. But yeah, I must take this thing out one last spin, and I'll see y'all on the next one. 